Welcome to the A-Series rigging videos. These videos describe the quickest and safest method of rigging and de-rigging A-Series cabinets for horizontal or vertical array applications. Let's start with the Touring Case. It fits two A-Series cabinets, a flying adapter to fly the A-Series in a horizontal array, and a flying frame to fly it in the vertical array. The case also provides a compartment to store additional accessories. Both rigging components have a special parking position within the Touring Case. The A-Series uses a three-point rigging system. There are two front links, and a central rigging strand on the rear, including a splay link with an extension tube, which provides two different lengths. Now we'll guide you through the rigging procedure for a horizontal array. Let's open the Touring Case. As a hint, placing the cabinet in the flight case with the label upwards makes the label visible through the window in the lid. Position the first cabinet with the logo facing downwards, so that all threads on the side panel are facing upwards. Place the second cabinet beside the first cabinet in the same manner. Extend both front links of the second cabinet. Align the front links of the second cabinet with the corresponding slots of the first cabinet. Insert the front links into the slots and slightly move the second cabinet to the right to engage. Finally, Turn the second cabinet counterclockwise by 90 degrees. Make sure that both the upper and lower front links have engaged. To add further cabinets, proceed in the same manner until the assembly is completed. When closing the lid of the touring case, Make sure to place it in the right orientation, so that the arrow points towards the dot. The splay angles between adjacent cabinets are set on the central rear rigging strands of the cabinets. The splay angle can be set from 20 to 40 degrees in 5 degree increments. Depending on the desired splay angle, the extension tube of the splay link must be connected in the standard or the extended length. To use the extended length, release the locking pin and fold out the splay link. Then pull out the extension tube fully and turn its head counterclockwise by 90 degrees to lock it in place. A-series cabinets can be simulated in array calc either as standalone point sources or as horizontal or vertical arrays. Having chosen the respective mounting method, all settings for splay angles can be applied in the cabinet section. In this tutorial, we use 30 degrees for all cabinets. At the rear, release the locking pins on all cabinets. To use the standard length, turn the extension tube head counterclockwise by 90 degrees to lock it in place. Align the splay link with the corresponding hole for the desired splay angle, in this case 30 degrees. Insert the locking pin and ensure it's properly locked. The next step is to prepare the flying adapter, which is stored in the back of the case. The array can be suspended using one or two E6507 one-ton shackles and appropriate lifting devices or steel wire ropes. The center bar of the flying adapter features a total of 19 holes to facilitate a wide range of tilt angles. The holes are numbered in increments of five. In single pick point operation, the overall vertical aiming of the entire array is defined by the hole on the center bar. The corresponding single pick point hole position is calculated on the rigging plot within the array calc software. In dual pick point operation, the vertical aiming of the entire array is set by trimming the respective lifting devices. 
attach the flying adapter according to the type of assembly. For a single cabinet or for an array of three cabinets, the flying adapter is attached directly to the top panel of one cabinet. Therefore, use these three holes and these threaded inserts on top of the cabinet. For an array of two or four cabinets, the flying adapter is attached between two cabinets. Therefore, use these four holes. To allow for different splay angles, the flying adapter is equipped with long holes to attach the adapter to the cabinets using these four threaded inserts. Use the enclosed hand bolts and hand tighten them properly. When all the mechanical adjustments, system checks and safety checks have been done, the array can be hoisted up to its operating position.